Hey guys, we're Kat and Nat here, and we're in the WW studio cooking up one of our favorite WW recipes. Super creamy mac and cheese. And why we love it is because it's a lighter version of the traditional mac and cheese. The period cauliflower and carrots give a really nice creaminess, and the kids won't even know it's in there. There are four different cheeses. Oh wow, that's so the best you're, part. So you're gonna have to go along with me, okay? okay? Pecorino. Good one. Did I get that? Pecorino Romano. <gasps> Cream cheese. Good. Greere, greere. Gruyere. No. A for effort. Gruyere. 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 What's your last one? Cheddar. That's I got easy. that one. That's super easy. So the first thing you want to do is you're actually going to toast the panko um. and you're going to mix it with the pecorino and that's going to be the topping right before the mac and cheese goes into the oven. You want a blender. Here it goes. Okay. Broth. And wow. that actually gives delicious. Broth. I use broth in almost everything just so you know. Cream cheese. I'll do it in your order. Got Thank it. you, Natalie. Get it in my order. Okay. Dijon. Yes. I know what the cheddar is. That's the cheddar. cheddar? I nailed that one. Gruyere. Gruyere. I can't say that. I'm going to learn that one. This is going to be so delicious with all these cheeses. Okay, then add the cooked vegetables. Yes, ma'am. Now it gets fun. You can add in the hot sauce, sure. As much as you like. Some people like it really spicy, some like just a little. If it was me without my kids, I'd pour the whole thing. Yeah. And just a pinch. Ready? There's Here a mode for it. Go. And then you're going to pour this mixture over your half cooked macaroni and steamed cauliflower. I love the recipes that are so great for WW, but the kids also love them. It's mm. perfect for the whole family. We're going to put it in a dish and we're going to top it with the panko and the cheeses and then bake this. it. Okay, Shane. I can I'm just see saying. who's got some control issues in the relationship. So here we go. Make it nice and even. This is what's going to give it that like really crunchy top. Okay, and top with the cheese. And it's going to go into the oven for what? 350, 25 to 30 minutes. Mmm, that looks good. Okay, so now we've taken the mac and cheese out of the oven and we're going to give it a taste. Mmm. Mmm. I love how creamy it is. Mmm. I love that there's bits of cauliflower in there. It's and so good. And a little bit crunchy. Mm -hmm. A little bit al dente, if you will. Al dente, if you will. Mm. And I love that this is one of everyone's favorite meals, mac and cheese, but this lighter version, you can make it and you can just feel good about eating it. And it's, serving it to your kids. Ah, uh, delicious. If you go to www.com, you can find this recipe and so many more. It's so good. So healthy and delicious. Mm. Don't need to give up flavor. Nailed it.